Hi, good day. Welcome back to our class in Chemistry Laboratory. Today, I will be performing the experiment on composition of most organic compounds. This is our second experiment for organic chemistry. You remembered that last time, I performed or demonstrated to you the first activity for organic chemistry that was on some differences between organic and inorganic compounds. So today, we are going to perform this second experiment for the organic chemistry. For the first part of this experiment, we are going to heat a small amount of the egg albumin in a test tube. I would like you to observe what happens to the egg albumin when it is heated. So this is the egg albumin. I would like you to take note of its color before it is heated. Did you see the color? Then I'm going to heat this over the plate. Kindly observe carefully what will happen to the egg albumin when it is heated. There may be a gas that is involved and I want you to observe what happens inside the test tube, particularly the upper part or the and the opening part of the test tube. Observe what happens. So for that first procedure, that is to test for the presence of carbon and hydrogen. The next part of the activity is we're going to hit a mixture of the egg albumin and the soda lime. So this is the egg albumin. Then we're going to mix this with soda lime. Let's mix the two, the egg albumin and the soda lime. Observe the mixture before it is being heated. So I'm going to heat this over the flame. And once the vapor is issued out, I will expose to the vapor a wet red litmus paper and I want you to observe what happens to the color of the red litmus paper. So this is the red litmus paper. I will expose this to the gas that is issued out of the mixture between Soda lime and egg albumin. Observe what happens to the color of the red litmus paper when exposed to the vapors of the mixture between egg albumin and the soda lime. The next procedure for this activity or experiment is test for the presence of solvent. We are going to add a small amount of egg albumin to sodium hydroxide and we are going to heat it for a few minutes. And after heating, we are going to cool the mixture and add some drops of lead acetate. This is sodium hydroxide, and we are going to add into this a small amount of egg albumin. So this is the mixture of the egg albumin and the sodium hydroxide. 
We are going to heat this for a few minutes. So this is the heated sodium hydroxide with the egg albumin. Let's cool this for some time so that we can add the lead acetate once it is cooled. We're going to cool this with the running water. So this cooled mixture of the egg albumin and the sodium hydroxide we're going to add a few drops of the lead acetate. I want you to observe what happens. Observe what happens to the color after adding the lead acetate. The next procedure is to test for the presence of phosphorus. Now, we're going to use here a small amount of the casein, and we will add to this 1 ml of nitric acid and also 1 ml of the sulfuric acid. After adding it with the nitric acid and the sulfuric acid, we're going to boil this inside the water bath. Why is it that I am boiling it inside the water bath? We are using the water bath in boiling the mixture because this requires gentle heating in a sense that we are heating the acids. So this is the casein. And we're going to add to this 1 ml of nitric acid. And we will also add this with another 1 ml of the sulfuric acid. Can you observe what happens to the color when the casein is added with the nitric acid and the sulfuric acid? We are going to heat this in the water bath. So I want you to observe what happens after it has been heated. Then we are going to cool this for some time and after cooling it, we are going to add the ammonia molybdate. So to this mixture that we once heated and cooled, we are going to add equal amount of water in order to dilute it. This is the water that we are going to add to the mixture of the casein and the nitric acid and the sulfuric acid in order to dilute it. So this is already the diluted mixture and to this mixture we are going to add the ammonium molybdate. I want you to observe what happens to the color. Before it is being added with the ammonium molybdate, I want you to observe the color.
this is the ammonia money bait. I'm going to add this to the mixture of the casein, the acids, and the water. want you to observe what happens and I'm going to place this bag to the water bag. I want you to observe what happens after placing it into the water bag. Can you observe? what is formed, especially at the bottom part. So those are all for the activity on the composition of most organic compounds. What I would like you to do is you are going to write all your observations and also answer the questions given in the lab guide kindly submit your output next week. That would be all for today. This is your teacher, Professor Nisita Ruiz of Holy Name University.